Hello everybody, welcome back to the podcast. My name is Raphael, I am a certified life coach, meditation guide, and I'll be your host for this podcast where we talk about meditation, mindfulness, consciousness, philosophy, stoicism, Zen, and more. I'm really honored to have you with us today for a very short but very important episode. We often talk about uh, what philosophy is and mindfulness and the purpose of it is. And today, as I was reading a quote by Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and emperor of Rome, I am reminded to ponder on this a little bit, on why philosophy and mindfulness are so important. And one of the reasons why is that it keeps us good. So we were all born good, and philosophy and mindfulness helps us to keep us that way. And so the quote from Marcus Aurelius is, the human being is born with an inclination towards virtue, end of quote. And although we have been told for centuries to be weighed down by the notion of our original sin, our human species would not have survived any of its evolutionary steps had we not helped and been good to each other along all of these years. Rufus, another Stoic philosopher, said something along the lines of, and I kind of paraphrase, all of us have been made by nature so that we can live free from error and nobly, not that one can and another can't, but all, end of quote. So his theory is because we were born from nature, nature itself, and we were all born good, and we were all born with a purpose. It's only afterwards that things start happening. He believed, and many of the Stoics believed, and I also believe, that we were born with an attraction to virtue and self-mastery. All things in nature have. And when we defy our preconceptions and look at the bigger picture, this is what we see when we see that we are indeed part of that nature, that we, us, inside of our skin and we us outside of our skin is actually just one same thing this is a principle that we learn in zen philosophy we are we are the world we are nature we are part of the entity of life we are part of the bigger picture and so a child cannot be born corrupt i have this picture um, of recently seeing my my baby open his eyes for the first time after his first few minutes on earth so my w- wife was put in another room to recover and to you know to get cleaned up and stuff and so they bring you the baby you like to me the father and i mean a ho- <laughs> it was a whole epic because they had given me these hospital clothes which were like five sizes too small but i didn't say anything you know when you have the the use stress it's called it's like a good stress the excitement and your life is about to change 180 degrees i i didn't i didn't say anything so then the whole epic finally i managed to put those clothes off with the uh with the help of the nurse and uh they bring me the baby and put it on my bare skin so that it keeps it warm and at that time he opened his eyes and i could feel the start of this little life it was really quite incredible i will never forget it and i will never be able to fully express it with words but i could kind of feel his consciousness the the expression of his consciousness and of his purity and his love also this unconditional thing that just happens you know it's 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 quite remarkable anyway i cannot i cannot imagine that it is different with any other baby. Of course, I think mine's special, but uh, what parent doesn't? And so this leads us to believe that corruption and evil actually happens over time by nurturing the wrong things and the wrong ideas. So depending on his environment and education, a child will either become good or will become evil. Philosophy, as Seneca rightly pointed out, is a tool to strip away these bad things and bad ideas so that we can return to our true nature. And so, I know it's hard to to understand, but uh, or it's hard to picture, but who we view as evil, you know, 
first two people that come into my mind are like, I don't know, Hitler, Donald Trump, maybe, um, evil psychopaths, sociopaths, with no empathy, no no virtue, just vice and lie and power and hatred. And we have to take the perspective that these people were also born, <laughs> they were also born as babies. It is interesting to also try to figure out where the corruption happened in their in their minds, in their hearts. As they were born good, how did they become evil? Another another tool other than philosophy and pondering and studying the big pictures of life and uh, studying virtue, becoming a virtue connoisseur, like you would become a, a wine connoisseur, being a virtue connoisseur, me, knowing exactly the meaning of these virtues that are important to us, such as courage, honesty, self-mastery, temperance, justice, and uh, wisdom. And, you know, meditating on those also. And of course, meditation and mindfulness and, so, you know, thus self-awareness are great tools to bring us back to our true nature. This is because it allows us to be fully present right here, right now, to be able to contemplate in a way that we are indeed part of the bigger picture of some sort of universal consciousness of of the universe, of life itself. We are not uh, separated from nature. And so we're able to pass our ego and go into our pure intelligence, with which is our true nature. So this is really interesting. And actually, it will be the end for today's episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. And as always... Please do let me know what you thought if you're listening on the podcast. Uh, I would love it if you could review the podcast. It really helps people find us either on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, or on Google Podcasts, wherever you're listening to your podcasts. And um, please do contact me either by email or by social, or I will link all the notes uh, in the show description. And so you can take a look and find a way to contact me and to tell me how you would reflect on what we just talked about. Before I let you go, I just want to read that quote one last time, the quote that started this uh, this little session, which is by Marcus Aurelius, who said, the human being is born with an inclination towards virtue. And I would really uh, challenge you to to think about this, to journal about this, to write about this, and either put it in your journal for safekeeping and keep it nice and secret, or if you would like, you can send it to me and, you know, with a note, can I share it, can I not share it, and maybe in the next episode I can share a few of your guys' thoughts that could be interesting. Okay, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.